Hello, I am Timothy Adon. Welcome to my Sonic Adventures. Um, I'm going to be changing my name, or rather the video's name, to Audio Adventures um, because it'll make it easier for people to find me. If you search for Sonic Adventures on YouTube, you will find a whole lot of Blue Hedgehog. And, uh, yeah, that doesn't really work out. Um, so, today's video is going to be on screen capture software and how to get it to work with your digital audio workstation. This is very important because I ran into a lot of issues with this and there aren't a lot of answers for it on the internet um, unless you're using a Mac, in which case there are plenty of problem solvers. Um, but if you're, if you're using a PC like me, then you need a workaround. And I found a relatively simple workaround that I'm surprised I didn't see more of online. So I'm gonna show that to you really quick. Um, and that's going to require looking at my hardware. So I'm going to pick you up. That is my M Audio Fast Track Pro. It is what I am using to connect to my digital audio, digital audio workstation. Um, if you look right there, that is the XLR input that I am using to record my voice right now. Um, if you look in the back here, you will see that I am plugged into RCA outputs, which are going to my studio monitors, which are Ion ISP2s, nice and cheap, and actually work very well. Um, and then from there, I've got the USB plugged into my laptop. Um, the important part is that I've got a quarter inch out of the headphone jack to an eighth inch line in microphone jack on the laptop. That is very important. Um, and now we will go in, onto my laptop to show you everything else that you need to do in order to make, make sure that the screen capture software works. All right, so now we are on my laptop. Um, I use Windows 7, a uh, Dell Inspiron laptop. Um, so I showed you how to hook up all the hardware. So now we got to figure out how to hook up the software. So unfortunately, you can't see my uh, taskbar at the bottom of the screen, but hopefully you should be able to um, gather where it is that I'm clicking. So I'm going down here. When you plug in the uh, eighth inch cable into the microphone jack, remember it's coming out of a quarter inch headphone jack on the audio interface and we're going in to an eighth inch microphone jack on the laptop. Um, so you go, uh, this window will pop up when you plug in. Um, it's basically just, it's an audio manager. Um, these are my actual laptop speakers. Um, but this is what's really important. Line in at front panel, pink. I don't know why it's pink, um, but this is the, uh, the microphone jack. Um, you want to make sure that it's all the way up and that it's not muted, the recording volume. Um, playback volume I'd rather not have, um, simply because then there'd probably be a weird echo because of my studio monitors. Um, and then it's recording in the right format. And the stereo mix is all the way up. All right, so you hit OK on that. And now that is fine. Um, next, you want to go over... Um, I right clicked on the volume icon on the bottom of the taskbar you want to hit recording devices you just want to go here um, you'll see that my my levels are currently being taken in right there as well as my fast track pro um, you just want to make sure that the uh, the microphone is the default device by right clicking on it there will be a little uh, option here for making it the default device you want to go to properties and just double check the levels to make sure that it's all the way up um, make sure you don't have any funky enhancements on that'll make the sound all weird. Um, then, okay, okay, and that is it. And then the last thing you got to make sure you do is, uh, in your screen capture software, you got to make sure that the microphone input that it is using um, is also the microphone that you are plugged into. So in my case, there is a drop-down menu on Screencast-O-Matic. Sorry, I can't actually show that to you. 
Um, and I just have to pick the lying in microphone that's labeled pink and it'll be all set. Um, you'll notice right here that here, let me just play this for you and then you'll know for a fact that it works. My methods of writing music review. Um, you'll know that that is the audio for my introduction video, which is going to be um, the subject of my next video, which will either be coming up this week or next week, most likely this week, because this is going to be a very short and easy video. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very helpful. Thank you for joining me on my audio adventures. Have a good day.